Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and we're gonna continue with that uh, made from newspaper challenge. Uh, today I would like to create something uh, for this inside. Uh, some card which will be decorative and which will kind of make this pocket even more interesting. And uh, I do have here again my newspapers and I did read many of your comments that in your area or in your state uh, the newspapers are not that much colorful like newspapers which I am buying here in UK. So for all those who struggle with the colors that you can't find them, I do believe that many of these superstores, many of fast foods, they are bringing you every week some leaflets we always had so many of these leaflets and i threw them to the bin until now when i started to work with these newspapers i realized that there is so much to use like right here this is quite big for journal but this it's perfect like uh, you know we we all love to add here and there some kind of numbers and uh, stuff like that or here this from uh, 69 only who cares that there is, you know, that, that there is 69? It doesn't have to be in, you know, in small pences because now is everything pretty much very expensive. So don't look if it's it like a new price. Just look if you can use it. All these small circles, they can be punched out and they can be used. And maybe uh, some of these uh, little things here on the bottom, they can be used as well. Maybe something will have a wonderful Palazzo Fla Flower, Palazzo Flower Festival. Oh, look at that. I will have to have a look what is here. It looks good. I'm going to have a look what is here, actually, <laughs> before I will cut it. So in these leaflets, you can find in a superstore, in, in shops like Asda, you know, Tesco, here in the UK, Lidl. I do have here Lidl. Lidl has perfect, uh, you know, perfect paper. It's uh, not totally glossy coated. It does have some kind of glossy coat, but it's more closed to newspaper paper. It's perfect gramage. And you have here these uh, numbers. And you have here, look at that heart with Britain flag. It's perfect. So just go have a look. Or maybe from something premium. That maybe will be a nice word to put somewhere. Or top pick. Maybe that word can be put somewhere. Just have a look on these leaflets. On something like this. I do believe you can find some words or, you know, this. I will probably change the name here because I'm not sure about copyright rules. So I would probably change the name inside, but I would cut definitely this frame with that flag underneath and change this one with some sticker, you know, with some number sticker and boom, you have beautiful, beautiful image for your journals. This circle can be used, you know, this circle can be used. And if you will put their flower inside, I do believe it will be beautiful. All these labels with the prizes, there is so many here summer, maybe, somehow, or here, that 10% off. And underneath, I would cut it right underneath, and I would cut, it does have that uh, entry, like, you know, half circle. So I will definitely copy that half circle and the bucket with brown paper so if your newspapers are just uh, black and white just feel happy about it because to be honest i'm a little bit struggling with those images that there is so many these are good but there is so many about football and <laughs> like too many about football you know if there will be another sport as well but there is about 10 pages with football which is crazy so <laughs> And always some colorful images so if you do have black and white print just feel happy because you will don't have to struggle like I do <laughs> and if you are missing some colorful images just go to have a look to the stores grab their for free leaflets and I do believe you will find there something this came this 
came through the mailbox and look at these numbers they are large i know but they are here they are printed already for me so i do believe from something like this i can also cut out some images so that was just jumping in to help you to feel feel relaxed when you are trying to find some good images i do believe in these you can find a lot so i found that for this pocket here i do have actually great size of uh, tea bag <laughs> box which i do believe will fit i mean the cardstock the, the cardboard look at that i think if i will cut it just slightly on the edges i can fit in there so this will be my uh, base the cardstock from this chipboard or from this box i mean so i'm gonna cut the sides i can actually open it i don't need to cut it this way can open it and cut it here where are my scissors ah. Oops, la. so i'm gonna cut it here and cut it here That's gonna be one base and I do have here a whole bunch of another cardstock. Ah, this could be cute pocket. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna take these two this I'm gonna create like a slide in decoration and this I'm gonna create like a pocket I'm guessing and look at that beautiful edge here so I'm guessing I thought I'm not gonna use any stamps today but I will because of this little edge here which will be peeking out so this time i'm gonna take a little help from all my supplies i do have all around that's why i love to buy them and they are here for me to help me to create something beautiful so i'm not saying create everything just from newspapers no if you like this craft you will eventually buy some supplies and one of these supplies can be stamps so i'm gonna show you my favorite stamps for journal makers and i hope you will choose one of them so as I love to create uh, journals in vintage style, I keen to vintage style of stamps and I love numbers so much on my projects. So these are stamps, not this one, but this one is good. Uh, these are stamps I do love the most from my all my collection. And I'm going to start from this side. This is the latest two sets of stamps I, uh, I have in my collection. And uh, I do have them just because my wonderful, amazing friend, uh, Janice Freeman, she shared with me another two YouTube channels, which I, I should have a look on them because the craft in there is amazing. The ladies create wonderful things. And I was, I was amazed by all these crafters, not just by the Janice, which I, her art I know for a long time and I adore her work. If you don't know Janice Freeman, go to have a look. She recently opened her own channel. Finally, that was about the time because I wanted to see her art uh, in the process. You know, she's amazing. I will put link down below. Go to have a look, really. Her work is stunning. Her photo albums journals and 3d projects oh mine uh i hope she she will have a chance in some video to show these 3d projects she created because that's work of art that, that that oh mine that's just so stunning and she shared with me uh, two other channels and on one i think it was crafty with tony or by tony i'm very terrible with names so i will put links down below for these two other channels Janice shared with me and one of these channels <laughs> I saw these stamps I'm getting there slowly I saw these stamps and of course I had to buy them immediately so one is this one it's from Spellbinders, Spellbinders 
and here you do have a name and I will also uh, I will put link for Amazon where I found these stamps and they are so gorgeous I hope you can see uh, how beautiful they are they are full of beautiful numbers and uh, you know handwriting they are awesome for junk journals for vintage junk journals Another collection is this one. I love Elizabeth Crafts dies. I do have uh, Elizabeth Crafts designs. I do have many of their dies. I love this company very, very much. They do have beautiful dies. And now, oh, sorry for for glare. So now I own also these amazing stamps. Look at these numbers and tickets. And this one is so awesome. So this is another collection which I really adore. And then of course. These I found first set last year, and um, this one it's yeah, this one is first set. Both of them, both of these collections are from Creative Expression. I'm gonna zoom so Creative Expression, clear stamps designed by Sampool, and both of them has a name, kind of similar name dates from the past and this is a set number one this is set number two look at this so gorgeous so gorgeous so these are another stamps and of course tim holtz i can't say how i say enough of good words this collection i think this was the first i ever saw with all kind of i'm gonna flip it this way so you can see better way uh, when I saw stamps like this, I think that was the first time when I saw stamps, especially for junk journal makers. And this is something what you have to have, I guess. But <laughs> it's just so stunning. It does have that wonderful feel of vintage. So, oops, come here. So Tim Holtz, always, if you if you love uh, vintage, vintage making, vintage journals, and you are struggling to find some good stamps, Tim Holtz, try it really. You will be not mistaken to, to try his stamps. They are always good, wonderful designed, and they are perfect for stamping. That that's So all these <laughs> are perfect. I'm not going <laughs> to go, go far from that. So all these are amazing. And one for making kind of like splatters and uh, little dots. So it's Kaisercraft stamp. It does look like this. So you do have from larger spots to the smallest spots. You can choose what you're going to stamp on your project. And it does have a name, splatter texture. So all these are kind of like my favorites. I think I'm going to use these because I didn't use them much yet. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover these both boxes uh, from this side where uh, it's this glossy feeling I'm gonna cover with a newspaper I wish I can maybe I can actually no it's really well glued together you know some of these tea boxes um, you can kind of slide off or peel off peel off this top glossy I can Maybe I will destroy this one. Well, I do have another two boxes. You can kind of peel off this glossy thingy, which I actually can do. Look at that. Wonderful. Great. I don't have to use this one, but I do have nice chipboard. So I'm going to try to do it on this side as well. And then I will cover both of these with newspapers. I do have that base coating done and here uh, I cut the newspaper in the angle, you know, where was the, the original, the chipboard and I left it a little bit longer so I, I made also kind of like, and here from this side I reinforce it with that medical tape so it's stronger now that newspaper and it will be like another gluing part for my pocket right here. And what I also did, <laughs> I peeled off that coated 
top from this leftover, from other leftover, from that box. And I used one of my embossing folders. I said this will be from newspapers mostly, but why do not use any trash for creating something beautiful? I choose for this creation this beautiful paper doll. And I think I will put her some, somehow like this. And I used for that this chipboard from that uh, tea bag. And I used this. This is, I forgot the name of that. 3D Impress List from Sizzix. It's really beautiful. And look how beautifully it did cut all these feathers. It's such a gorgeous thing. So now I'm gonna... Don't, don't cry. I'm gonna glue it back. It was just too white on her size so <laughs> I'm just gonna resize it slightly to make it you know close together <clears throat> once I will use it I mean so here I do have base for my writing card I'm thinking to put some notes here maybe I can use my notepad little notepad and I can put you know one writing note here or I can leave it totally like it is it's clear uh, it doesn't smell any badly. It smells like a tea, like herbal tea. So it's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to start to uh, kind of decorate it. So I do have here a few images from newspapers, which I would like to use. And I think first I'm going to use this one and I'm going to glue it right here like this. And I try that when she will be sitting here, she will be a little bit overlapping. But I think it's totally cool because I can still fit into my book cover with this. And I do have here these beauties from our newspapers. So I'm going to bag them with the brown paper, make them a little bit more interesting, a little bit more thick. I do have prepared my few pieces. I bagged with brown paper these four. This one I left just as it is, this new newspaper and this one as well. I'm thinking to use it somehow <laughs> different way but before uh, I will glue anything here I was thinking another tool a uh, tool from tools um, I both through to that time I'm in this junk journal making family I both many uh, embossing folders and I think sometimes I just forget to use them so today I'm gonna be using them I think because I want to have this girl here and she's a little star, so I think she deserves to have something in the background, some nice pictures. So first, I'm gonna try to put here a few of these stars. So I do have really beautifully embossed this piece here. I didn't put enough of glue, but look at these. And I think I will distress it slightly with a seal brown distress ink, just to, you know, I'm gonna go very, very light hand and just over these stars. I think it's enough. And this ink reacts with water, so I do have water in this bottle. I'm gonna spray it a little bit and let the ink work once it's dry i will come back here i hope you will see how beautifully it was just one spritz and how beautifully it got kind of soaked all around it does make uh, if i will put there a little bit more ink it will make beautiful splatters all around so i do have my base and now i can start to put my pictures on it you don't have to do these embossing effects or distressing newspaper paper has nice color and it already has kind of like vintage feeling so if you don't have these tools that's totally okay don't don't be stressed about it i th th this project this newspaper challenge should actually show you that you can do magics just with newspapers i just thought that it will be good to show you that there are tools which can make some nice effects but trust me you don't have to have them but it's good to use them if you have them <laughs> so I want to have this one here and where is oh I think I blew away oh no it's here and this one is somewhere here I cut the end to that fishtail look 
and I would like to have this one somewhere close to the bottom I think somewhere here probably right and these stars I'm not gonna press it too much that way I will kind of copy that embossing effect underneath and here I do have picture that that was uh, from gallery I think there was gallery of pictures from Rodram Marathon okay now because there is that large star it's not going to get glued totally and that's okay now where I will have this gill somewhere here so first I'm gonna actually <laughs> do wings I'm gonna put the glue here and try how I should be with the wings I think somewhere here somehow like this I'm gonna press it here and now I can glue my little angel so she's gonna be sitting here and these paper dolls are so much fun to work with them if you don't know these are Tim Holtz paper dolls I will point few of these packages which I got from uh, from Amazon I will put links um, here in the description box so for for new beginners in our craft family you can have a look what is this supply how it looks like and here you can imagine what it can make, how beautiful decoration it can make in your journals. I think I'm gonna <laughs> keep it as it is. And this I found in old newspapers. Uh, that date, it's a little bit bothering me. So here I'm gonna help myself with the stamps actually. And I need piece of paper. I do have here scrap of tea dyed paper. And something from these stamps on this day. So what I'm gonna place there? Mm, approved on this day. That sounds good. Approved on this day. gonna cover the date from newspapers just like that and I'm gonna glue this one here and I think on this side it will be actually good to have some writing paper so I'm gonna be using one of the pages from this mini notepad and glue it first and if I will glue it just on three sides, I can actually slide something behind. I can do pocket. So <laughs> I'm going to glue it right here. And on the top, I'm going to glue this. I'm going to leave these hinges like peeking over the top. Like this. So I can actually slide something here or slide something here. I'm gonna let it dry and inside I was thinking here it's kind of like a um, planner for a day. So how about if I will just glue it here? I think that will be good so I'm gonna take my glue stick and 
place it right here and I can always put here some papers or I can keep it this way and just write something here I think I'm gonna keep it this way for now maybe later I will use some uh, decorative papers I'm not sure actually and I'm gonna call it done for now so this will be my card and I do have here also my pocket so I was thinking how I will use this one uh, how I want to create that pocket if it will be like seat pocket you know with some stamping here but because I do have here this beautiful banner here right here that that piece which is peeking out I'm more thinking to use the pocket this way on my hinges in that previous part I created these basic hinges for photo album and I'm gonna show you how you can actually use them if you will create some something some decoration you want to glue on something this is where you can glue these things these hinges you can glue to your pockets your uh, tags anything you create and it can be you know like mini page mini decorative page if I will create maybe some envelope here and glue it here so then I do have these things here so I'm gonna use the today also my hinges and I forgot to try <laughs> I forgot to try if I can actually fit in there into my pocket. Perfect, I can. So look at that lady. Look at that little girl. So here, because I do have here the district news, I think it will be good if I will have here actually some little notepad. For that I can totally use my... Um, notepad which I do have here because it's small it does have beautiful golden edges look at that and if I will take a few papers they are not too big and fold them I think this way they don't have to be folded exact way like half on half I can make it you know more interesting by folding the papers not evenly and also I can mix the papers different you know colors different patterns maybe linen paper and so on so on and I will put few of these together like this and I can sew them right here and create a little mini notepad uh, I like to have a vintage look on my papers and because I do have just these four little papers I'm gonna bring my tea so I do have tea prepared <laughs> I do have brush, heating tool, and uh, usually I would tea dye my papers in the bunch of many. But here, I'm just gonna do these four so I can use brush. And usually I do have tea in a large uh, baking tray. And I'm dipping my tea, uh, my, <laughs> my papers in that large dip, uh, baking tray with the tea. And then I let them air dry or I put them on the radiators through the winter, you know, to get dry or in oven. But today it's just four papers. So I'm gonna do it this way. You do have nearly dry one side, so I'm just gonna flip it over. Use the tea from this side and continue till all four papers are colored from both sides and dry. I do have my papers colored and dried. So now I can take my papers, open the pocket. So I'm going to place it to that line and just sew it through. Simple sewing.
one and two Okay, I think I may will make a knot outside. So I'm gonna move my string a little bit. Go one more time this way. Fold it here and go out this way. Now I can tie the string outside. And I have bring back these strips. I created uh, these kind of like uh, page edge banners. And because I'm not going to do journal with journaling pages, I may, may will not use all of them. <laughs> so I was thinking this long one which I didn't cut on pieces, I can actually use here and cut it, you know, through to that creation on even small pieces. And here, I think this last one can look pretty cute. So I'm just gonna rip it off. Open my mini notepad on the last paper. I'm gonna put a small amount of glue underneath. Go it down as a decoration. I'm gonna take my colored, uh, colored medical tape which I created yesterday, and I may can just do you know decorative gluing, and this can be here like this. So I do have a little notepad with the pocket and now that stamping here on that edge which will be peeking out. So I'm gonna get up my stamps and do some little stamping in there. Oh it looks good. So if I will fold it. Oh I placed these stamps too low look at me. And now I can choose uh, one of these hinges where I will glue this one and I can glue the envelope first and then glue it on the hinge like this. Or I can cut a piece which I can slide inside so that way the envelope will be separate and then I will have another piece prepared for another creation. So uh, here I'm thinking that I will cut it right here. Where is that line? To my fault. So this I do have prepared for some different uh, creation. This I can actually glue inside. And because I don't need it that long I can uh, Cut it down slightly, I think like this. And then I can glue my envelope here. So this will hold my envelope. And I do have very plain backside. <clears throat> so I'm thinking to create a little window here. So I can cut the window with my hands or, uh, and with, I mean with my, <laughs> I wanted to say I can cut the window with the knife or I can use paper punch. And I think here I'm just going to be using paper punch. This will be bottom of my envelope. Here will be glued that hinge. So I'm going to go rather on this side of the paper to create a window. I'm just going to slide it in there. 
this chain. Good. Oh, I will see the, the thread. And here I can put some uh, acetate piece, you know, piece from uh, acetate bag where I do have this double-sided tape. I'm, I think I'm going to use this one. And just glue it. Look, glue it right here. So I'm just going to short it. So just some old acetate bag. You can use double-sided tape and glue that old acetate bag on your... Uh, over the window. So, I do have my window. Now I can take my uh, pocket. I'm gonna first put a little bit of glue here and glue this one together. gonna put the glue on my hinges here grab my hinges here and place this one here oh yeah so I need to put a glue on this side as well I'm gonna take my hinges and place this right here and fold this over. Oops, come on, go there and press. Here I'm kind of watching if this gap looks similar. It does look similar all the way and I do have my little envelope and I decided here on the top where I messed up with my stamping. I'm gonna cut out this um, this little mark that there is free delivery. This is with some advert about I think garden furniture. It was. I'm gonna put glue it on the cardstock and then glue it here I guess so I do have my little uh, label and I'm just gonna glue it right here from the opposite side I do have this so I think it needs to be decorated I do have here so many of these strips with some kind of writing and Uh, numbers <laughs> I think these letters will look cute here actually so that's I'm gonna put in there I do have this of cut from the window so some little embellishment place it right here I'm gonna grab small piece of my colored medical tape even smaller and fold it right here punch the hole And because I do have here this small piece, I'm gonna place it right here. Just like decoration, you know, it's not nothing what have to be there, but I was holding it in my hand, so why not? <clears throat> Maybe some stamp. I think this mail and I'm gonna so 
is this here? It can be lifted up. There are writing mini pages. <clears throat> and here, what I'm going to place here. I think I'm going <laughs> to rip another part of my beautiful uh, page edges. And I think it will be this one. And I'm just going to place it right here. Just like decoration. I can always put something here. Maybe some uh, postmark. Or if I will glue it just on the bottom. I can actually add there some mini tag or so. Maybe I will create some. So I'm going to kind of prepare a little tuck spot for that. I'm going to put the glue just on the bottom. That way I will create the space where I will tuck something. And I think I'm done for today. I do have little girl. Oh, little girl card here with writing space inside and writing space here. And I do have my first flipping thingy. Oh, yeah, right now I can't probably, or I can actually. It will be peeking out through. I will have to be careful here, but I still can slide it through. It will be peeking out, but I am able to put my <coughs> put my closure in there as well, I believe so. I'm going to put the tax here. I do have gel here. I can... Oh, no, I don't have it here. Come on, go there. So this one, this can... Slide yourself inside. Slide it there. Close, close. Place here. And now I can try to close this one. And because I made there these hinges, I do believe I do have there quite lots of space. Yeah. Here is picking out what I have created today, the pocket. So I can actually put inside the pocket some larger tuck. Where is the pocket? <laughs> there is that pocket. So if I will place there some larger tuck into that pocket, it can also be picking out here. So that's my creation for today. A little card from a tea box. And little envelope from the same box with writing spot. I need to put there some tuck. And we do have a window here and we do have a tuck spot right here. Do I have something I can put there? Like a card. So that's my creation for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I gave you some inspiration. Uh, I really love this challenge because it makes me be more creative, I have to say. I love to create with digital designs. Don't get me wrong. I love to, to create journals from digital design so very much. And you saw that a hundred times on my channel that I d really do love it. But true is, true is, that with the newspapers, I feel more creative than ever before because I have to think, I have to kind of tease that creative spot in my mind to came up with something nice from newspapers. And that's what I really love on this challenge. If you never try that, try it maybe just for one day and you will see. This is my creation for today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Thank you so much. For all your amazing support. I appreciate that really very much. You made my days so happy. So thank you all. Have a beautiful day. Take care of, of yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.